Hey, what's going on guys? This is Taylor with the Cyber and You team. And today I'm going to take a break from the Linux tutorials that we've been doing. And I'm going to go ahead and take you through how to create an AWS account and go ahead and set up your first instance. This is going to be the first of a three-part series. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. So as you can see here, we're actually here at the uh, AWS Create an AWS Account screen. So to create your account, just go ahead, type in the email that you want to use. You can set your password here. Confirm that password. And then whatever you want your AWS account name to be. Personal account. But in the case that you wanted to set it up for a professional account, you would. Um, and just for security purposes, I'm not going to put my phone number on here. I'm just going to take you through the contact information here. So um, you can put your full name here, uh, your phone number, your country, your region. Uh, it's going to ask you for a street address. And then you're going to have to agree here. So I'm going to pause the video, move forward, uh, and then we'll come back. Okay, so what I did uh, off screen there was I went ahead and typed in my personal information. Um, I went ahead and verified that through a uh, phone. So you're going to provide your phone number to Amazon Web Services here. They're going to give, they're going to call you. They'll give you a four-digit PIN. You go ahead and type that in. So here we're actually on the select a support plan. We're going to go ahead and select free. Go ahead and sign in. You can sign into the console here on this page. And just give it a little bit of time here to load. Alright, and we're going to sign in with that email that we provided. So this is actually going to be the root account for, um, for all of your AWS instances. And I'm actually going to take you into how to set up an IAM account. Uh, which would actually basically lock down your access. Because if somebody compromises your uh, email and your password here, they actually have um, access to all of your AWS instances. So if you lock it down and you only connect through the IAM um, account because you're going to be using keys, unless someone compromises your keys, you're, they're not going to be able to use your um, instances. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. We're going to sign in. There you have it. We're actually signed into the console here. All right, so I said I'd tell you how to go ahead and uh, lock down your accounts using IAM. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So in the console, um, I'm going ahead and click the services tab here. Go to security identity and compliance here and click IAM and it's going to load the management console. So let's go ahead and manage security credentials. And we're going to get started with IAM users. Let's add a user. We're going to name this user administrator. Sorry. And then we're going to select AWS Management Console Access to enable a password. We're going to do a custom password here. And you're going to want to make sure that this password is different than the AWS account password that you set. You can set it up to require a password reset. If you were setting this for an, a user other than yourself, then you would go ahead and make sure this happens, but we're going to uncheck this. Then we're going to set up the permissions and create a group here. And let's call the group admins. And we're going to click administrator access. Create the group. 
And there you have it. You have a group with uh, administrator access called admins. You can set tags if you want to. We're not going to do that. And here you can review the account that you just made. You create the user. And in the future when you sign in, you use that account to sign in rather than the uh, AWS account that you just made up. The only time that you would use the AWS account is if you had to go in there, add more users, add more groups, uh, any type of resource management, uh, stuff like that. Well, of course, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Leave some comments. Uh, we'd like to hear your feedback. Um, and don't forget to follow us on, uh, on Twitter at CyberNU1. Thanks.